We have a development backstage, and there they go. Sheamus looking a little bit uneasy here. He needs to create some space and find a way to get back on the offensive. Who doesn't love when a fight breaks? Cannot contain them. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Uh-oh. This might be it. Oh, my. Can he end it here? What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Great. Here's his moment, Michael. The situation just got real bad for Sheamus. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap. Shows no mercy in that poor chair. It looks like a twisted heap.
This is all the makings of a classic, and it's coming right up. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. Let's do it. before his matches. Saxon, you've been snoo You ready for a Lucha House party? Yeah, I am. Byron, you know why Metalik wears that mask? Oh, why, Corey? In Mexico, he owes a lot of people a lot of money. I find that hard to believe. Byron, you should try it on. And his opponent, from Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Weighing in at 175 pounds, Grand Metalik. The king of the ropes, Grand Metalik is here, baby. Grand Metalik, otherwise known as the king of the ropes, one of the most exciting superstars in the cruiserweight division. As ugly as he is talented. What, uh, enough, Corey. Come on. The time for talk is over. We'll find out who the best is in the ring right now. I am so excited this moment is finally here. WWE Universe witnessed a classic submission match at 2016's Extreme Rules event. The Queen, Charlotte Flair, defended her women's championship against Natalya. The one thing I thought was unfair about the match is that there was a ban against the Nature Boy Ric Flair being at ringside. If Flair appeared, Charlotte would lose the match and her women's crown. Oh, my. Beautiful technique. Corey, you spoke of the submission match between Charlotte Flair and Natalya, and I need to point out that this match was not Flair's figure eight versus Natalya's sharpshooter. Victory could be achieved by making your opponent tap out to any submission maneuver. I think we all know why the Nature Boy was banned from ringside. When Natalya had Charlotte locked in the sharpshooter, it seemed that the Queen of Hearts was going to be crowned the new champion. Of course, that was until Dana Brooke distracted Daddy, giving Charlotte the opening to lock on figure eight and force Natalya to submit. It wouldn't be a flare match without a little bit of controversy, would it? ceases to amaze me. And Grand Metalik slips out of harm's way. Oh, Buzz just barely got out of the way. 
struggling a bit here. I'd say he's starting to feel the pressure a bit. It's not in his DNA to quit, but come on. He's taken quite a beating here. He may have no alternative but to submit. Well, he's certainly looking a little worse for wear, but Yikes. that doesn't mean you should... count him out just yet. I'm sure there's plenty of fight still left in it. Oh boy, he is rolling. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Oh boy, he is Jeez. rolling. sure how much he has left. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Ah, uh, here it comes. Legendary. Oh, Hell's oh, Gate. Oh, oh. This Hell's is bad. Gate. This is real bad. The Goga Plot is locked in. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? That's the kind of submission match I would pay to see, and they're the ones paying me. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. From the opening bell, this match was won for the ages. I'm almost speechless. Almost. Quick and often. There's few things more humiliating than tapping out to your opponent. Guys, it sounds like we can all agree that was an extremely impressive win.
Coming up shortly is what should be an incredible encounter. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Going to settle the score. The crowd is buzzing with excitement. Buzz is here. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at Buzz was a three-sport athlete pounds. in high school. He's going Number to need every one. bit of his athletic ability to prevail tonight. I didn't realize they gave out varsity letters for whining, taking shortcuts, and failing upwards. The power of Tazawa. Come on, Byron. A unique matchup coming up here, guys, is the only way to win this one is via submission. That's right. These superstars can throw those pit attempts out the window. They won't be needing them here tonight. Unique environment here as we kick off this submission match. Oh, man. One of the things a superstar who's competing in a submission match has to be careful of is if they have an injury or have been injured in the past and people know about it. You can bet in a submission match that your opponent is going to target that body part immediately. It's like having a giant bullseye on an arm, leg, ankle, or shoulder. Byron, you brought up that a submission match can be especially dangerous for a competitor who's injured or had a known injury. I think that's why it's just as important as submission match to be able to reverse the submission move from an opponent as it is to apply a submission maneuver to an opponent. If a superstar can't reverse an opponent's submission, then they're certainly going to be in trouble. Some superstars have more than one submission at their disposal and it becomes a pick-your-poison scenario for their opponent. It also depends on the match. Some submission matches are based on winning via a submission move, and others involve a competitor having to use the specific submission they've chosen. These competitors are walking on dangerous ground right now. Oh, what impact. Bam, what a slam. He's on the defensive now. He'll need to find a way to turn things around here. This match certainly isn't trending in the right direction for him. He's going to need a change in momentum and fast. Stomp right on the knee. Oh, boy, he is rolling. 
Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. Hooks it up. Oh. It might be cliche, but it's true here. It ain't over till it's over. Oh boy, he is rolling. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. When this guy's on, oh, look man. out. Nailed it. Akira Tozawa, big move coming. Look out, look out. This could be it. as surprised as you guys are. Yeah, you don't see a slam like that very often. Kira Tozawa just too fast for him. Showing some quickness there. Oh, nasty impact. Comes legendary Hell's uh -oh. Gate. This Hell's is bad. Gate. This is real bad. The Goga Plot is locked in. Game set match. This one is over. Will Tozawa be able to continue? Boom! Face first. At this point, you have to figure that the next person to apply a submission will win. Oh my, drop from above. Taking a bit of a beating so far, but nothing that can't be overcome. Impact. Nobody controls the pace of a match. Quite what counter here. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, what height. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. While I was coming in today, I heard a lot of fans lauding this superstar for competing here tonight. According to them, it takes a lot of guts to compete with such an injury. Wow, Akira Tozawa is being controlled. Injuries definitely are a storyline to keep an eye on during this match, but so far, there does not appear to be anything really slow. Nicely done as he gets out. That'll mess up the back of your neck. That's how you put an exclamation point on a match. Oh. Oh, you... Is this really going to happen? Is he done? This is what makes him one of the best in the business. He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be a buster. Jeez, that was nasty. Oh, this is dangerous right here. 
He's looking at it. He's making a statement here with this attack. Oh, my goodness. Pile driver. Spiked him. But he's running on fumes here. Does he have enough left in him to capitalize? Uh, here it comes. Legendary. Hell's uh -oh. Gate. Uh -oh. This Hell's is bad. Gate. This is real bad. The Gogo Plot is locked in. That should do it. He persevered through this submission match, and it's finally over. That's the kind of submission match I would pay to see, and they're the ones paying me. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Here is your winner, Wonder Boy. And there's your winner, ladies and gentlemen. Any way you slice it, that win right there is beyond important. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.
With these names in the ring at the same time, no one can predict what will happen. Don't you dare go away. In a match I am sure we will not soon forget. Big time matchup. This man always makes an impact. It's Buzz. Introducing first, from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 300 Did you guys see the WWE pounds, 24 episode about Buzz? Boy. I highly recommend it. Yeah, you also highly recommend a sushi joint when we're in Topeka. I think I'm going to pass. The Dead Man Cometh! To this day, the dead man still looms over the WWE landscape like a menacing shadow. The indestructible spirit. The unmatched aura. The phenom. Bone chilling. These guys are scary. They're frightening. And they're dominant. Nightmares are real, and, and they look like Harper and Rowan. At a combined weight of 590 pounds, the SmackDown Tag Team Champions, Rowan and Harper, the Bludgeon Brothers.
Two men armed with unforgiving souls, calloused hearts. Soldiers of Armageddon. It's like a horror movie come to life. He's held dozens of championships, competed in countless main events, and owns the greatest streak in WWE history. The Undertaker is here. Oh, huge big boot. Bringing it back between the ropes. be enough for him to take the victory here. What a slam, Michael. Not the oh my goodness, crushing it. Now back to the ring. You gotta believe this one's over. That's five for him to be in here, guys. He's gotta do something to get back in this thing. Over the years, we've come to expect oh, these bursts of greatness from him. And Harper is really taking a pounding. This is clearly not the same competitor who started this match in such great shape. This is all but over. Oh, my God, that table right there. This isn't going to be pretty. Oh. What a great win in such a unique style matchup. And here's another look at some incredible action from a match that we're not likely to stop talking about for a long, long time. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Here are your winners, Wonder Boy. Nice teamwork by these two here tonight. No wonder these guys won. They work together like they've been teaming up since birth. I hope you set your DVRs, folks, because that match is worth going back and watching again.
We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Everyone knows what's at stake here. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the United States Championship. That music can mean only one thing, it's Buzz! I spoke to Buzz today and he told me no matter how much success he has, he still gets nervous to compete in front of this many people. Coming from BCW, he should be used to big crowds. I heard that one event almost drew more fans than a JV girls volleyball playoff. Things just became absolutely glorious. Can I get a hallelujah? Hallelujah! Not from you, Byron. How many times do we have to go through this? I've been practicing all week. You haven't gotten any better. The sky is truly the limit for the glorious Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode knows how to make an entrance, and he's got the substance to back it up. Introducing the challenger from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 320 pounds, Wonder Boy. Introducing the champion from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Bobby Roode. Don't move, don't speak. And there's the bell. And here we go. This is the type of battle that you can Ouch. show someone who's new to our brand of entertainment and say, this is what WWE is all about. crazy, but this might be one of those rare instances where the champion actually enters the match as the underdog. I know it sounds odd, but it really seems like the champ is up against a headwind here.
You're not crazy, Byron. The champ certainly has an uphill battle here. And while it's rare, we have seen the challenger head into the match as the heavy favorite. Bruno San Martino challenging Stan Stasiak in 1973 immediately comes to mind, as does Diesel squaring off against Bob Backlund in 1994. Wait, did you really just say that Saxton is not crazy, Cole? Man, just when I started to think you might be all right, you go and say something ridiculous like that. Watch out! Oh, tear the features clean off your face. I can tell you guys that this arena sold out in record time, and a lot of that has to do with this match in the ring right now. This is easily one of the most anticipated title matches in recent memory. Scoot slam! Oh my, pile driver! I believe that is it. Like you were saying, Michael, when news broke that this title match would take place here, I had dozens of people I know in and around the area calling and texting, just hoping I could get them tickets. That's how big this match is. Isn't it that cute? Your friends actually think you have enough pull around here to get them tickets. Poor people. As we say in the trade, guys, the monitor area in the locker room is likely sold out for this one, as there are plenty of superstars with a vested interest in the outcome of this match. Oh! <laughs> Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. To buy. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. When this guy's on, look out. This might be it. Oh, my. There he goes, crashing to the floor. He wants no part of the outside. A lot of people are saying the champion has never looked better, but that doesn't mean we can't see an upset here tonight. He gets it with a reversal. Looking to hurt him. Oof. As Byron was talking earlier about the champ being a heavy favorite here tonight, I couldn't help but think back to the night Santino Morella defeated Umaga for the Intercontinental Championship in 2007. I don't think there was a person alive who thought Santino had even a sliver of hope. Yeah, including Santino himself. But hey, as the old saying goes, anything can happen in the WWE. Guys, a loss here for the champion would be incredibly embarrassing, especially considering all the trash talking I'm told that's been going on behind the scenes. I don't want to reveal my sources, but let's just say there's been some pretty harsh words being tossed around. Oh my, Kyle Driver! I don't know who your sources are, Corey, but it wouldn't surprise me at all to learn that the champion has been a little cocky heading into this one. And there's nothing wrong with that, Michael, especially considering just how dominant the champ has been of late. When you're that good, you have every right to bow your chest out a little bit. Anything is possible, but I just can't envision a new champ being crowned here tonight. The champ just comes into tonight with too much momentum. He's making a statement here with this attack.
looking for a repeat. Byron, I agree that the champ comes into tonight with a great deal of momentum, but like you said, anything can happen. We've seen champs get upset in the past. Who's to say it can't happen again? Incredible German establishing dominance. This one's over, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful technique. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Things just went from bad to... You've got to believe this one's over. That has got to be it. And Buzz has just reached the top of the mountain. What a special moment. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. There's good, there's great, and then there's downright unbelievable WWE action. Ladies and gentlemen, you just got a taste of the unbelievable kind. Decisive victory here tonight. No shame in tapping out to that move. Wow, that looked incredibly painful. And I'd say that match certainly lived up to SummerSlam's historic and prestigious past.
What we have coming up is sure to be an amazing physical contest. We have a real fan favorite versus Rusev. The Iron Man tests the limits of the human body, so this should be awesome. The superstar known as Buzz is here. Making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 320 pounds, the United States champion, Wonder Boy. Every superstar has a goal in WWE, and Buzz told me he's aiming high with his. He wants to have a career that one day is recognized with a spot in the WWE Hall of Fame. It's way too premature to start that discussion, but his career is definitely trending in the right direction for that to at least be possible. There's only one holiday worth celebrating 365 days a year. You know what that is, Byron? I don't know. What is it, Corey? It's Rusev Day. Here it is. Rusev Day is a real-life phenomenon taking the world by storm. It really is a holiday, Byron. It pops up on my calendar on my phone. Okay, so uh, no matter how you feel about this made-up holiday, what it has done is provide virtual jet fuel for the confidence of Rusev, who is more driven than we've ever seen him. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some kind of one-on-one, mano a mano. Guys, I've talked with superstars who've competed in Iron Man matches, and each and every one of them said that there's almost no preparing for the grueling nature of this contest. That's why you're the best analyst at this table regarding the grueling nature of this match. In fact, we've heard stories of superstars spending hours a day doing cardio in preparation for an Iron Man match. Yeah, and amazingly, they all say all those hours in the gym did little to prepare them for the rigors of this match. So eat a biscuit, Byron. I'm not hungry.
I go back so far with Rusev, I remember his manager before Lana, Sylvester Lafort. Rusev dominated NXT and showed his impressive power as a participant in the 2014 Royal Rumble match. That April, he debuted on Raw, and the WWE landscape hasn't been the same since. Oh my, that's what you call a bad landing. Rusev used his Muay Thai and sumo backgrounds to make an immediate name for himself at the expense of the revered powerhouses like Big E, Big Show, and Mark Henry. When the super athlete defeated Sheamus for the United States Championship, the hero of the Russian Federation became the first Bulgarian-born champion in WWE. Rusev's held the U.S. title on more than one occasion and has engaged in bitter rivalries with John Cena, Dolph Ziggler, and Roman Reigns. The Bulgarian Brute was also a member of the short-lived League of Nations faction. You know, guys, when it comes to Iron Man matches, I'd have to say that gaining an early advantage over your opponent is so very crucial. Is that how you defeated Big Bob? mentioned gaining the early advantage and I have to agree the last thing you want is to be playing catch up the whole match wow did you guys come up with that amazing analysis yourselves come on of course no what does Buzz have in store we're, we're about to find out oh, he's gonna do it German suplex that's called established Dominance, but he's got to capitalize now. What does Buzz have in cover? This one's over, guys. Here's a cover. What can Rusev do here to up the odds for success? I'm not sure how much more he has to give. Look at that. Rusev is now bleeding profusely.
if I hear one more person tell me about how brave this superstar is for competing injured, I'm going to lose my mind. I mean, what we're talking about here is essentially the equivalent of a hangnail. I wouldn't necessarily call that an injury. Severe damage being inflicted to the back. That should do it. Shoulders on the back. A kick out, and he almost had him. Wow, what's it going to take? He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. And here comes the big Bulgarian. Thunderous slam. I'm having a hard time figuring out what they're going to do next. Another great SmackDown. Thank you for choosing to join us tonight. Probably wise not to focus too much on this superstar's injury. I mean, half the roster is likely competing with some sort of injury right now. It's just part of the game. Keep in mind, this superstar is competing hurt tonight. Or so we're told. I'm not so sure I believe it. Down with a face buster. Each of these competitors is looking for the slightest hit of weakness in the other. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Sharp knee. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Two huge German suplexes. I don't know if Rusev could take much more of this. Can Rusev stay in this after that? Uh, harsh impact. I don't know if Rusev could take much more of this. Can Rusev stay in this after that? Hell's uh -oh. Gate! This Hell's is bad. Gate! This is real bad. The Goga plot is locked in. That has got to be it. Just like that, he gets a fall. Rusev stumbling a bit here. Looks to me like he's starting to feel the pressure, guys. He's really starting to look fatigued here, guys. And when that happens, your whole body starts to give out on you. He's going to need to be careful here. He's not looking like himself right now. And I hate to say it, but this might be the beginning of the end for him here. What a stop. Good grief. Whip. That'll hinder your modeling career. Here's the reversal from Rusev. Oh, look, we nailed it. I think this is the beginning of the accolades locked in. Victory is on the horizon. And he breaks free just when you thought he was out of this one. German suplex. A lot of damage taken on by Rusev. I'm not sure how this will pan out. He may very well be on Dream Street right now, guys. I think this one's over. He's in big trouble here. I don't think I remember ever seeing him this much off his game. Mark my words, guys. This superstar's decision to compete injured here tonight will go down as one of the most boneheaded decisions of all time. Both of these superstars looking a little worse for wear right now.
He's not looking good here. You have to wonder if he could recover from this guy. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. He's just taking on so much punishment. It looks to me like he may have lost focus there for a minute. He was really cruising for a while. Rusev's, ooh, what impact. The Bulgarian, the accolades locked in. The Bulgarian brute is back in this. Oh, and Rusev sneaks one in. When this guy's on, look out. What a headbutt. Vicious. Uh -oh. the arm. oh, my goodness. Crushing it. This could do it. Uh-oh. Buzz with the easy kick out. Too early in the match to end it. Just a nasty headbutt. The end may be near, folks. Tonight may not be his night, guys. He has got to fight back. Let's remember, though, guys, his opponent doesn't seem to be in great shape either. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. Incredible German. Establishing dominance. That's what he was looking for, Michael. He wants it one more. What a cutter! I don't know if Rusev could take much more of this. He's going for the pin. One, two, and he's able to get out. This is amazing. You're not going to win many matches absorbing punishment like that. Oh boy, he is rolling. What a strike. Gets out of the way of that one. Here he goes. Boom, what back. Game, set, match. This one is over. This is Rusev's match. He's got the shoulders down. Two. I don't know too many other guys that would have been able to kick out of that. Can you believe this? Buzz just barely got out of the way. That match deserves another look, folks. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. And there's your winner, via pinfall. That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. Amazing match, guys. Before we move on, I'd like to remind everybody that we're coming to you live from Phoenix, the site of WrestleMania 26.
We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have one of our breakout talents taking on some tough competition. A championship match, what we've all been waiting for. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the United States Championship. Get ready, WWE Universe. It's Buzz. Buzz is a man who has sacrificed everything to be here today, even living in his van at times when he was on the Indies. Look, I know I'm not the biggest Buzz supporter, but even I have to admit, that's the definition of paying your dues. feel inside the arena right now for this steel cage match. And keep in mind that that cage is not just here to keep these two inside the ring. As we've seen countless times in the past, it can also be used as a cold and incredibly unforgiving weapon. down that remote and stay a while. Steel cage action kicking off here, guys. Destroyed. Believe it or not, fellas, some people are speculating whether the champ should have to defend the gold against what some are calling inferior competition here tonight. Of 
Corey, I think you're just trying to drum up controversy. I haven't heard any whispers about the champion having to defend against inferior competition. Yeah, inferior competition? That's nuts. I'm willing to bet the champ started that rumor in an attempt to get into his opposition's head. Either that or Corey's just making stuff up, as you alluded to, Michael. Guys, a lot of people are predicting a new champion here tonight. Even a poll on WWE.com earlier today predicted we'd have a new champ. But at the risk of being a downer, I'll believe it when I see it. Oh, my. Corey, I have to disagree with your earlier comment. I'm with the masses on this one. I think tonight is the night we crown a new champion. Well, either way, guys, this has been one heck of a match up to this point, and I think it's only going to get better. Face buster! Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off the apron. Guys, these superstars really do appear to be in peak physical condition here tonight, which isn't surprising considering what's on the line here in this championship match. I gotta agree with you, Michael. These superstars are in tremendous shape. And from what I understand, the champ has been hitting the gym twice daily in preparation for tonight. I heard the same thing, Saxton. Once in the morning. Oh, my goodness. Oh, the driver spiked him. I think this is the beginning of the end, Michael. Great job escaping, trying to turn this thing around. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. running out of fumes right now. Oh, man, what a beating he's taken. You can Ouch. see the lights are on. Clearly, nobody's home. Things do not look good for him now, guys, but if anyone can jumpstart a rally, it is Tozawa. Obviously a great opportunity here for the challenger who can't afford to make any mistakes here tonight. Not when you're in the ring with a champion as dominant as this one. Oh, nasty impact. To follow up Byron's earlier point, the challenger has to remember just how rare championship opportunities truly are here in WWE. A loss here could result in a trip to the back of the line. Don't worry, Cole. This isn't the challenger's first rodeo. Everybody knows exactly what's at stake here. Wow, I thought he was a goner. Boom! A knee right to the face! And this has just been a hellacious match inside this Hell in a Cell. Again, this one's for the most coveted prize in sports entertainment, the WWE. This singles contest has a victor. 
We got our money's worth for that one. Take a look. I don't like to throw around a lot of praise, but my eyes tell me that might have been one of the great matches in recent WWE history. Here is your winner, and still the United States Champion, Wonder Boy. Well, that one was over before it even started. And talk about displaying a never-say-die attitude. It was as if winning was the only option here tonight. And it's matches like this one that make SmackDown such a success. Thank you so much for joining us. Up next is the long-awaited championship match. We have one of the best talents on the roster to date versus a formidable opponent. Title's on the line, and here we go. The following contest is a steel cage match and is for the United States Championship. You can feel the excitement. Buzz is here. Absolutely right, and since WrestleMania, since this, quote, change in attitude from Shinsuke, some people have called it some sort of psychological downward spiral. I think it's been an emotional ascent, leading Nakamura straight to the top. Well, that ascent has made Nakamura one of the most dangerous superstars in all of WWE, simply because you never know what he's going to do next. Confusing, charismatic, and dangerous as the day is long. Introducing the challenger from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Naka. Introducing the champion from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 320 pounds, he is the United States Champion, Wonder Boy. Ah, oh, yeah, it's go time. And here we go with what will 
undoubtedly be a thrilling steel cage match. Challenger is starting to falter. Oh. Don't be surprised if he shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. He just has to make sure this doesn't get too out of hand for him. Sometimes, momentum has a way of permanently swinging one way. That's what he wants to avoid here. I know it's early, but if things stay the way they are, winning this match might just be a pipe dream for him. Walking around the city earlier today, guys, the only thing anybody was talking about was this title match. Everywhere I went, from the coffee shop to the bookstore, everybody was talking about this match. Oh, nasty impact. What's up? Running Bulldog. Byron, I had a similar experience as you this morning. Nearly every person at the gym I went to was talking about this title match, and rightfully so. This is an absolutely huge match. Okay, wait, wait. Let me get this straight. Byron spent the morning at the bookstore while you, Cole, went to the gym. Matt, that's brilliant. You guys have any other jokes? When this guy's on, look out. What does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about gonna... to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. back very effective here's his chance to win this ah uh, here it comes legendary hell's uh -oh. gate this hell's is bad gate. this is real bad the go go plan is locked in oh it's over buzz wins and keeps the title around his waist I can't believe what we just witnessed. Steel cage matches never failed to surprise and amaze. This entire match was just one big highlight reel, and I didn't expect anything else. You're looking at the winner of this one-on-one -on -one match. There's no way around it. When you're locked in a submission move like that, your only choice is to tap out. And I can imagine there aren't too many people at home regretting tuning in for that amazing match. Wow.
We've been waiting a long time for this. The championship is up for grabs right here next. We have a real fan favorite against an imposing adversary. Always a little special when the title is on the line. The following contest is a last man standing match and is for the United States Championship. The Indian Vader is here. It's Buzz. just went through the roof in this arena. Introducing the challenger from Cameron, North Carolina, weighing in at 225 pounds, Jeff Hardy. Introducing the champion. Big flying forearm. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Smash. You gotta believe this one's over. Guys, in a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. The challenger is starting to slow down a bit here. He's going to have to find oh, a way man. to fend off the champ here. Well, if this is what keeps him down for the 10 count, he's nowhere near the man we all thought he was. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think nerves will play a big part in this match, which I think favors the champion, especially considering how many times the champ's been in big-time matches like this. I'd agree. The champ is used to the bright lights and bright stage. Dare I say, it's almost second nature at this point. If you ask me, fellas, this championship match is among the most highly anticipated that we've seen in quite some time. Like you, Corey, I've had this championship match on my radar for quite some time, and so far, I think it's safe to say that it hasn't disappointed. No, it definitely hasn't, Michael, which is saying something, considering fans' expectations heading into tonight. I can tell you that they saw this as a potential match of the year candidate, and so far, I think it's delivered. And now it's Jeff Hardy getting pushed to the limit. The challenger is starting to feel the pressure of this high-profile championship match. His health is clearly a concern right now, guys. If he doesn't find a way to combat some of this offense, there's no way he's going to be the last man standing. Yeah, I'm sure he saw things going differently for him here tonight, but that clearly isn't the case, unfortunately for him. Boom! <laughs> this is what makes him one of the best in the business. Counter here. Oh. 
a big fight feel inside this arena here tonight for this huge championship match. And so far, I'd say these competitors have brought their A games. Oh, he turns it around. Cutter never ceases to amaze me. You're absolutely right, Michael. This arena is electric right now. And I think part of it is their desire to be a part of history. I think they're all anticipating a title change here tonight. Pull your jets, Saxton. Let's not go crowning a new champion just yet. There's still plenty of match to go here. We've seen champions head into matches maybe a little too confident, only to be picked off in the end. And guys, I can't help but wonder if we're going to see that again here tonight. He's making a statement here with this attack. What does Buzz have in store? We're, we're about to find out. He's going to do it. Speaking not good for the back and body. Looks like another victory for the champ, Michael. He's in trouble. This could end it in from out of nowhere. In a title match like this one, on a stage as big as the one we're on now, you have to wonder how much nerves will become a factor. Looking at it, he's oh, a pack, but he's got to capitalize now. He's a man among boys right now. Oh boy, he is rolling. Taking off his feet here. And it's moves like that that make him so dangerous. He's not going to go quietly. No superstar worth his salt ever does. Circling back to your earlier point, Corey, you have to think, what does Buzz have in store? We're, We're about to find out. Oh, he's going to do it. I can tell you guys that this two huge German suplexes. That has got to be it. Is the second time enough to end this match? Well, Michael, the so-called experts have talked enough. It's time to decide which one will be called the WWE United States Champion. He's not going to like this. A second time. From out of nowhere. The wreck wasn't finished. Let's not forget, this is about the WWE Championship. Some are saying this is the night the title changes hands, though. Yes! Unreal performance. Talk about hardcore action. Wow. That was one of the most memorable last man standing matches in the history of this promotion. That was just one of those matches that the men involved should just be proud to be a part of. A legendary performance. Wow. 
I haven't seen a match like that in a long time. I might go home and watch a replay. It was that good. Here is your winner, and still the United States champion, Wonder Boy. Huge victory here in one-on-one -on -one action. These guys look like a couple of hosses going at it out there. Great match. What a matchup that was. Truly incredible.